All right, let me just once again see if the see if the mic is working. Testing, is that working okay? Testing, testing, testing. Is that good? Is that okay? Is that good? That's good. Let's freaking do this. Good morning, good afternoon, and a good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Resident Evil 3. You are here with Morris. I know, I've missed you too. Uh, you know, guess what? Turns out, finally you're in a university. There's a freaking lot of work to be done. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not going to dwell too much on that. Um... That's that, this is this, and uh, what I, you know, what I will say though is that um, it's actually very, you know, humbling to know that everybody out there is, uh, is being super patient with, uh, with, these, <laughs> with these videos. It's not the first time I've had to ask, but I've been gone for what, like a month? Um, and you know, it, there's not been like a load of spamming or complaining like, hey, where, where, where the video's at, you know, none of that kind of stuff. It's, um, yeah, I get a real sense of, uh, of dedication from you guys, so that, you know, that means a lot to me. Um, Either that or no one gives a shit, but uh, if, if anybody asks me, I'm definitely going to tell them it's the first one. But uh, yeah, anyway, at the end of the last part, we had uh, we got on a tram, we rode the tram, we fought on the tram, the tram broke, we got off the tram, and now we're in the chapel, uh, which is bolted onto the rest of what appears to be a clock tower. I did pick up a clock tower, t clock tower key, which turned out to be a winder key. I don't know what that means, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, latter half of the game, are we halfway through? I don't know, but... Uh, from this point on, very unfamiliar with what's about to happen. I do have my tea here with me, just in case. Mmm. Oh god, it's nearly gone cold, considering it took me so long to set up. I have a bit of a new setup. It's not ideal, but it's the best I can do in my new uh, in my new surroundings. So yeah, not really sure what to expect, not really sure what's going to happen. If you remember also, we have no ink ribbons. You see all these ink ribbons? No, of course you don't, because there are none of them. So we're just going to have to keep playing until... <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm gonna make up for the for the time lost because we're gonna have to keep playing until I finish the game or I find a save ribbon or die, which is also the most likely option. Uh, not really sure where I am either. <laughs> um, okay, so we got two locked doors. Don't think I tried the one that's directly opposite me, so maybe we should try that first. Uh, not really sure what to expect, to be honest. By the way, if there is a if there is a dip in quality, if you can hear some kind of echo or anything coming from the game. Oh jeez, really, really now? Is this what's happening now? Whoa, okay, okay. We got a party, we got a party already. This is what's happening, this is how it happens. This is how all the best parties start. Use the winder key, absolutely. Just get it in there, just get it in there, get it over with. Woo, taking a hit. Good stuff. Mmm. Good to know that the quality of gameplay hasn't changed. Yes. Carlos, this is I exactly what I wanted to happen. You're alive. You're alive and unscathed. Sure completely. What are you talking about? We made it. You don't get it. They have no intention of letting us make it back alive. Do you really think we can trust their great evacuation plan? Huh. It's just a piece of paper. Hey, that piece of paper is our safety. We don't have any other choice. We'll, we'll throw the piece of paper at the zombies, and then they'll all be distracted. No, be like, whoa, what is this paper on here? And then we can run past them. Right? Uh, whoa! Holy shit! That's right. So Step that's back. It then, huh? You're giving up? No. Nearly knocked him on his ass. I just. Can't handle it. Jill's biceps, man. You don't argue. Don't you run away from me. Where did your gun go? Oh, yeah, I have so many questions for you. Ugh. Also, there are a lot of zombies in there, Carlos. So you don't want to go running off too hastily now, do you? Especially without a gun, there's nothing in the fireplace. Uh, so the nemesis is following us, I believe. Well, I mean, he's always following us. That's a given, but... Uh... Yeah, he got burned pretty bad in that tram accident. Well, I say accident, but he kind of caused it himself, really. I don't think. I don't think you can really call it an accident. Is there nothing in here, really? Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Ugh. Hmm. Ah, gotta get the rest of that tea down. I need fuel. This looks like a thing. This looks like a big shiny thing. What the? <laughs> Whoa! Holy shit! Who needs save ribbons? Come on! <laughs> Got a mine thrower. He's holding something in his hand. Mines, maybe? Oh. Operation instruction. 
Ooh, it has been a while since I've had to read anything on screen. <laughs> Books? Hey, I'm drowning in them, but not on screen. Order for UBCS Echo Team. Wipe out the downtown area of the infestation and then evacuate the remaining citizens to the clock tower. Among the civilians, remember to give priority to the employees of Umbrella's affiliates. Remember to stay alert because the infected have a high killing rate and also entrance endurance rate and will strike without hesitation. Evacuation procedure number one. Once the mission is complete. So, you know, just complete the mission. That should really be number one. But anyway, number one, once the mission is complete, or when it becomes too impossible to accomplish, I like how they threw that in there as a thing. It's obviously, that's a possibility that it might all of a sudden just be beyond your control, evacuate immediately. Number two, we'll deploy a helicopter that is waiting in the suburbs <laughs> to the yard in front of the clock tower. A single helicopter. When you're ready for evacuation, ring the bell of the clock tower to signal the helicopter. Aha. Uh -huh. You've taken the operation instruction. Yeah. So I guess, <coughs> oh god, I'm joking. So I guess that that's what we have to do. We have to. What an elaborate procedure is. No, do, do people not use radios in this universe? Come on, we so much simpler. Also, blue herbs indicates poison, which is not great. Also, mind thrower indicates enemies, possibly boss battles coming up. It's another weapon I can use against a nemesis, but I haven't even fought him once. I don't want to fight him once, to be honest. <laughs> I really never want to see him again. Ooh, another save room. I like that. I like the alternate save room. Ah, uh, tell you what, I bought the uh, I bought the uh, the Blu-ray box set of the Resident Evil films. I know, I know. Just just hear me out, okay? I know they're really bad, but um, it's uh, it's kind of you know what? A two pound fifty a Blu-ray. It was like it was the first four films, and I know there's a fifth. I haven't seen that yet. I'll get that separately. But it was the first four films for a tenner. And you know what, £2.50 a disc, I'm going to buy any box set under the sun for that kind of money, you know what I mean? Especially if you buy them individually, it's like 7 or 8 quid each. So I don't know. Oh god, what have I done? Why is that so terrifying? <laughs> okay, close it. Close the box, Jill. Just close it up. An old music box. Its melody is out of order. There is something written on the lid. Okay. Got it. D U D D U D. Well, that makes no sense to me. Not right now, at least. But those films are so bad. I was watching the the uh, the number two Resident Evil Apocalypse, which has the Nemesis in it, and it's mm -mm. it's so terrible. It's unbelievable. Like when you, I mean, especially alongside playing this, it's just mm. ah, that's good. That's all gone now. So no more interruptions. <laughs> it's a uh... It, like, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know why they had to... It's like the, the films were trying to be the games, and then the games were sort of... I don't know, it's it's almost like they're interlinked. It's almost like, you know, now the games are trying to be the films, but the films are still trying to be the games. None of it makes sense. <laughs> and nobody can really decide what's canon and what isn't anymore. It's just like, uh, this. none of this makes sense. But it's the fact that the Nemesis is in, like... I mean, think about how many times we've seen the Nemesis in this playthrough. I mean... It's not that often, it's maybe four or five times, but every time I've shit myself, and every time I've run away, I haven't even considered fighting him even once. Um, but he shows up three times in the Nemesis film. Um, the first time... Oh god, another music box, here we go. That sounds like it's in tune. <laughs> Do I have to match this up? But yeah, the first time you see the Nemesis, he's carrying a rocket launcher and a minigun. I don't know where they got the minigun idea from. But he's carrying a minigun, wastes all these stars, guys, and then just walks off. And that's like, okay, so the first time we see him, he's not even, like... He's not even he's not even that much of a threat. I don't know, the fact that they give him guns straight away, like, you don't see any of the... Not once through the film do you see any of the tentacle stuff. I know maybe the special effects budget wasn't through the roof, but... So, U-D-W-D-U, so that's like the opposite of the other one. Okay. Ah, so that's what the winder key is for. I need a thing to slot in that, and then I can wind up those music boxes. I guess. The second time you see the nemesis in the film, Alice, who's the main character that they dreamt up from nothing, um, who is cool, by the way, and probably the best thing about the, about the films, to be honest, but... Uh, yeah, she, she, like, runs towards the nemesis and tries to, like, drop kick him in the face. Which I... <laughs> which 
you know, it's just the kind of, the power relationship doesn't make any sense. So that's the kind of thing that you'd never even dream of doing, even if you had the ability to do it on this game. There's no way you would even bother trying that, you know? Think about all the times I've seen him, I just immediately run away. Don't you grab me. Good stuff. <laughs> So it's kind of, uh it's just such a letdown. And then the third time, oh my god, the disastrous, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat fight. And then the nemesis turns good for some reason. Ugh. And they try and bring, like, a human element back to it, and it's just, it's not. How do you, how do you take something as terrifying as that from this game and make it so sort of lame? Like, it's not even that big compared to... Just a normal human. That guy's totally alive. Don't you be freaking crawling towards me. You think I got time for that? You think that's why I came here? That's right. Tell me that's an ink ribbon. Nope, not quite. <laughs> Art picture postcard. A picture postcard of NT clocks. That's what everybody wants. You know, when you go on holiday, you send a postcard back. What do they want to see? Beaches? Ne never. Beautiful weather? Never. Scenery? Pff, what? Clocks. Anti clocks. That's what they... That's what they want to see. The following verse is printed, Give your soul to the goddess. Put your hands together to pray before her. Why would you send that back? Ever. That's an ink ribbon. It's gotta be. Okay, we are back in business. We are rocking around the clock now. Here we go. <laughs> Any books? Any books I can pick up? There's nothing suspicious here. But yeah, the, the Resident Evil films, I yeah, I go on about them being bad. I don't know why, but I still really like them. I really like them because it's just kind of that dumb entertainment, really. It's just got this the pure entertainment factor. Just when the action sequences kick in, you know what? I don't, I don't really mind. It looks kind of cheesy as hell, but I'm a fan of that kind of thing. <laughs> you know, it's not. I don't think it's an example of stellar filmmaking, but that's not why you'd go and see a Resident Evil film, to be honest. Or maybe you do, in which case you are terribly misguided. And they're making a Resident Evil 6 film. Which is gonna have everybody in it. You got you got your Chris Redfield, your Claire Redfield, your, your Ada Wongs, who's not been in it before, I don't think. Maybe number five, but I haven't I haven't seen that one yet, like I say. E okay, what do we got? What do we got in here? What do I wanna put back? Mine thrower, get out of here. Hopefully we won't need you just yet. God, I'm having to get used to this. I haven't done any, like, preliminary work <laughs> prior to doing this. I've just kind of jumped back in, so I'm not even that familiar with the controls. But it is kind of coming back to me. Okay, ink ribbons do we want to save? I don't really want to save right now. I want to save up some ink ribbons. Six, at least. Get another batch in there. Then we'll talk about, then we'll talk about our typewriter nonsense. Okay, what else have we got in here? That looks like a giant green herb. Come on, can we not just take that? that? Looks like a green herb that's just gone out of control. Anything out of this ominous window? Nope. Just mashing X. Just mashing X all day long. <laughs> Anything in this cupboard? Ugh, oh, such a letdown. <laughs> Come on, it's a save room. You gotta give me something. Alright, well, I'll let you off this once. Ugh. Alright, what have we got through here? This looks like some kind of runway on the map. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Is that really happening? There is a lot of stuff in here. There is a lot of stuff to pick up. This looks like a key item. Which probably means I... Oh god, another key. Something's gonna kill me. Something is gonna kill me. I know it is. I already know it is, so maybe we should just get it over with. Someone has made a mess inside, inside the drawer. That's not, that's not good. Alright, what do we got? Anything in this case? Nope. Got a lot of gunpowder. A lot of gunpowder. Probably just gonna snatch this up right away. Whew. Still not totally sure about what gunpowder is best to use when. What is it? What is A plus C? Is that Magnum rounds? Uh, I'm kind of okay for shotgun rounds at the moment, I guess. Oh jeez, this is not good. Did I crash the tram in here? Is that what? Is that the problem? Is that the big long? Yep. <laughs> that was the big long rectangle. Wow. This just straight up goes outside. Alright, let me just check for items. Anything? Anything at all? Wow, there is a lot of stuff. That looks like a dead end though, so... 
I guess we keep going. I am terrified the nemesis is just going to burst out of there. Can I hear something? It's like I can... I think it's the flames, but it's like I can hear footsteps. Okay, let's just run. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Oh god. It's not fine. Ah, oh, come on, zombies. That would be threatening if they were anywhere near me. <laughs> I guess we're not going back there. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I gotta pause it for now, guys. But thank you so much for watching this episode of Resident Evil 3. Thank you so much for rejoining me. Um, uh, you know, hey, come on. I'm always going to finish the Resi playthroughs. No matter what, I'm always going to finish these. <laughs> I have a really bad habit of promising of, of promising to deliver things that I have no chance of delivering. Yeah, that's a problem I have in real life as well as on the internet. So that's, I guess that's one of my vices. But come on. Resident Evil, I'm always going to finish this. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I do hope to see you all in the next episode. It will be a hell of a lot sooner than a month, guys. I will see you in a bit. <laughs> see you later.